And of course, we uh, both congratulate Dan, Mike Shannon, on 50 years in the broadcast booth. What a great legacy he's left us. He is one of the most famous sports names in St. Louis history. And after 50 years of broadcasting, Cardinals Hall of Famer Mike Shannon is signing off. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Bush and has the day off. The Cardinals honored Shannon today in an emotional ceremony before the game against the Cubs. Our Alex Fees is live tonight outside Bush Stadium with fan reaction to the end of an era. Alex. Oh, my good evening. It certainly is that the end of an era. I heard that phrase many times this morning before the ball game and talking to Cardinals fans about the legacy of Mike Shannon. He is a man who has coined many phrases in baseball and leaves behind a last impression. Well, I hate to see him go. Um, just, well, he's a good broadcaster. And... I remember he played outfield for a while and then he was playing third base. To me, Mike is, is St. Louis baseball. Cardinals fans have good things to say about longtime team broadcaster Mike Shannon before the last game of the regular season and the last game of his career Sunday. Honestly, I'm going to remember my dad showing me when he was the third baseman and uh, watching the 68 World Series against Detroit. He talks about a lot of things other than baseball. <laughs> That's the best part. Oh, yeah? How so? It's just he talks about just everything. Just as up, baby. Get up, baby. How about a cup of coffee? You know what a cup of coffee is? Yeah. A cup of coffee in Mike Shannon's world refers to time spent by a minor league player at the major league level, like he was only there long enough to have a cup of coffee. There's even a website dedicated to Mike Shannon's sayings. There you'll see things like, a hit up the middle right now would be like an ice ham sandwich and a cold frosty one. Carrie Moschino is a former Bush Stadium usher. He could sometimes be honorary, but he was, he was just class act. Shannon has fans of all ages. He's a great guy and he knows all the players by name and he encourages them. And listen to Michael Dame's story. I remember going to his restaurant and I walked in and he was there. I had my hand out. He turned around and shaked my hand. He asked me if he had anything for me to sign. And Dame goes on to explain he did not have anything to sign. However, Shannon's family made arrangements for him to get something autographed later. Now, Mike Shannon is in the Missouri Sportscasters Hall of Fame, was twice named Sportscaster of the Year. We'll hear much more about both of his careers, baseball and broadcasting, coming up in sports and later tonight on Sports Plus. Live downtown, Alex Fees, five on your side.